So we're on to number five. This one's a little bit different, but still set up the same way until the very, very end. Once you balance the equation, you should end up with one, six, six, and six. Our next step is to identify the items of interest. It says calculate the number of grams of oxygen. So that's O2 right here. That's what we're looking at. O2 is one of our items of interest needed to oxidize 4.9 moles of glucose, which is C6H12O6. So this and this are our two items of interest. They're both on the reactant side. So what do we do? All you do is set up a ratio still using the first reactant you see with the second reactant you see. So the ratio would be one glucose for every six oxygens. So you just use this with this. Uh, first rate, first element or compound with the second element or compound. Um, then we got to set up our new ratio based on what we're given. We are given 4.9 moles of C6H12O6. And we don't know, we got question number of moles of O2, right? So our new ratio, remember, we put C6H12O6 as the one, so we have 4.9 ratio to question mark. So that's where we set up our comparison. We have 1 over 6 equals 4.99 over x. And then we solve. So you have 6 times 4.9, sorry, 6 times 4.9, 6 times 4.9 is 29.4, 29.4 equals, oops, equals 1x, equals 1x. Then all we do is divide, divide by 1, divide by 1, so your answer ends up being to oxidize 4.9 moles of glucose, we would end up needing a remarkably large 29.4 moles of oxygen. But, oh no, the question is asking for grams. What in the world are we going to do? Very simple. You're going to set up your picket fence and you're going to use a one-step problem to convert these moles of oxygen into grams of oxygen. So you do one mole of O2 is 32 grams of O2. Multiply straight across, you end up 29.4 multiplied by 32. You end up with 900, your final answer, 940.8 grams of O2. Sorry, it went down like that, but you get the picture. You have to have 940.8 grams of O2 to oxidize 4.9 moles of glucose. So that's how you got to pay attention now. If you need to convert to grams at the end, all you do is use dimensional analysis. Last one next.